Remember Elvin from The Cosby Show? Well, he faced a significant downturn in his career following the show's conclusion, struggling to secure steady acting roles. If you've ever wondered what happened to him, you're in for a treat in this video. Owens encountered financial hardships, ultimately leading him to work at Trader Joe's to make ends meet. If you've ever wondered what happened to him, you're in for a treat. In this video, we're diving deep into Owens' life story. From his early days to his dazzling career, his net worth, his marriage of 24 years and son, even the shocking truth of his homelessness. But that's not all. We'll also uncover whether he's making a comeback and so much more. Let's dive right in. Jeffrey Owens, born on March 18, 1961 in Brooklyn, New York, USA. He grew up in a supportive family environment with his parents and siblings. Owens attended the prestigious High School of Performing Arts in New York City, where he honed his acting skills and developed a passion for the arts. After high school, Owens pursued higher education at Yale University, where he earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in theater. During his time at Yale, he continued to refine his craft and gained valuable experience in stage productions. Following his graduation, Owens embarked on his acting career, initially finding success in theater productions before transitioning to television and film. His breakthrough role came in the mid-1980s when he was cast as Elvin Thibodeau, the husband of Sandra Huxtable, on the hit sitcom The Cosby Show. Owens' portrayal of Elvin Thibodeau endeared him to audiences and solidified his place in television history. Jeffrey Owens played the character Elvin Thibodeau on The Cosby Show, one of the most beloved and influential sitcoms in television history. Elvin was introduced as the boyfriend of Sandra Huxtable, the eldest daughter of Cliff and Claire Huxtable, portrayed by Bill Cosby and Felicia Rashad, respectively. Elvin's relationship with Sandra evolved throughout the series, leading to their marriage and eventual expansion of their family. Elvin Thibodeau was depicted as a kind-hearted, albeit sometimes bumbling character, who often found himself at odds with his in-laws, particularly Cliff Huxtable. His interactions with the rest of the Huxtable family, including his wife Sandra and her siblings, provided moments of humor and heartwarming family dynamics. Throughout his tenure on The Cosby Show, Owen's portrayal of Elvin endeared him to audiences, earning him recognition for his comedic timing and likable demeanor. His character contributed to the show's depiction of a close-knit and loving family, offering audiences a relatable and entertaining glimpse into their lives. During his first season, Elvin was not that important. However, after he and Sandra tied the knot in 1987, he became a regular character. He continued to work in television and film after The Cosby Show ended. Although he faced challenges in securing consistent acting roles, apart from landing a small part in The Paper and appearing in a bunch of episodes of Bill to Last in the late 90s and the early 2000s were hard for him, which left him in a bad place, mentally but also financially. This is because he could not get any job in Hollywood and he was only left with $5 in his bank account. And he had to start all over again. That led him to search for a regular day job. And the experience became more than he bargained for. After The Cosby Show ended in 1992, Owens kept working on TV, appearing in series like Law & Order, That's So Raven, Divorce, and Blue Bloods, among many others. Sadly, none of his roles were regulars, so his work was sporadic. Then, in 2018, Bill Cosby's sexual abuse scandal led TV networks to pull The Cosby Show from their programming, inevitably affecting the lives of the actors who were still receiving residuals from the show, Owen included. As a husband and father of a family, Owens realized that he had to do something to keep supporting his family. When the residuals stopped arriving, and Trader Joe's was one of the most viable options. He started working at one of the franchise's stores in New Jersey, but he made a conscious decision to keep that part of his life away from prying ears in the industry. Deep down, Owens was afraid of people thinking he had quit acting, which wasn't the truth. Owens didn't imagine that, among the thousands of customers that visited the store, 
one lady would recognize him, take pictures of him, bagging groceries, and then share them with the world with some unflattering comments about his situation. The first media publication that ran the story made it seem like Owens was going through a really tough time and painted him as a failure for going from TV star to hourly wage worker. The story went viral immediately. And while some people job shamed Owens for having a regular source of income, there were also an overwhelming wave of support from his peers and fans that uplifted his spirits. Owens later admitted in an interview with Entertainment Tonight that he was pleasantly surprised by people's reactions. In his words, everybody is understanding, sympathetic, sensitive, you know, supportive, encouraging. I didn't trust people enough. I didn't give people enough credit, to be honest. Owens had to quit his job at Trader Joe's when curious fans started to visit the store, hoping to get a look at him. He was looking out not only for his dignity, but also for his mental and spiritual well-being. Although it wasn't an ideal situation, Owens' photos put him in the spotlight. He started getting job offers, interview requests, and even some donations. Nicki Minaj sent $25,000 to the star, but he graciously donated the money to the Actors Fund, hoping to help other actors in need. Director Tyler Perry also reached out. After hearing about the situation, he took to Twitter to praise Owens for hustling in between acting gigs and offered him a role in Owens' hit show, The Haves and the Have Nots, which Owens accepted. Shortly after, the executive producer for NCIS New Orleans, Christopher Silver, revealed that Owens would make a special guest appearance on the show. Silver said they needed an accomplished actor for the role, and Owens was the perfect fit. Although Owens expressed how grateful he was for the opportunities, he also made it clear that he wasn't expecting to be offered jobs. On the other hand, he hoped the situation would open more doors for him to audition and prove his worth. In the year following his viral photos, Owen also appeared in series like Power, On Becoming a God in Central Florida, and Bless This Mess, the film Impossible Monsters, which he filmed in 2016, was also released in 2019. However, all the attention he got from his moment in the spotlight had dissipated nine months later. In an interview with Lance Carter for Daily Actor, Owens revealed that work stopped again at the end of May 2019, and he spent seven and a half months without an acting gig. And that's his business, Owens said. No matter what, when you're hot, you're hot. And it's like the heat wore off. Although fads kept recognizing him on the streets, business slowed down as usual. Still, Owens knew he would take advantage of his renowned fame and in the middle of the lockdown, when COVID-19 hit, he launched his show using Instagram as his platform. In Shift Happens, Owens highlighted hardworking people with mundane jobs through a series of interviews. It was important for the actor to highlight people who kept working in the middle of the pandemic. Besides his Instagram show, Owens is also busy filming for the series Power Book 2 Ghost. He also does a Shakespeare workshop and some one-on-one -on -one coaching on acting. It seems like Owens is in a good place at the moment. While it doesn't seem like he will be going back to Trader Joe's anytime soon, the actor's only hope was for people to learn that no job is better than others and that every worker is essential and deserves respect. He has been married to his wife, Josette, for over two decades. The couple has been married since 1995, only three years after his time on The Cosby Show ended. Together, they have a son named Jordan, and he is a talented basketball player. Shortly after the actor started being job-shamed, he contacted Jordan and apologized because he thought that the whole situation would make him feel embarrassed. Fortunately, the young man proved that Jeffrey and Josette had done a wonderful job raising him by assuring his father that he was proud of his choice at working at Trader Joe's. That message was the first sign that the actor received to make him realize that everything was going to be okay. Speaking of Jeffrey Owen's son, he is a handsome man who could very well follow in his father's footsteps and join the entertainment industry. In November last year, Jordan and his dad hosted together for a selfie taken at the Brooklyn Bridge 
and their similarities were evident. As of now, his net worth is estimated to be around $4 million. Currently, Owens is involved in several acting projects, including recurring roles in popular television shows. These projects are expected to contribute significantly to his worth in 2024. Several factors have contributed to Owens' net worth, including his acting career, teaching career, and his comeback after financial struggles. His resilience and dedication to his craft have played a significant role in his financial success. He enjoys owning and driving some of the best luxurious cars money can buy. In his collection is the Rolls-Royce Wrath, with an auction price of $340,000. A Cadillac XTS, valued at $47,000, is also another luxurious car owned by Owens. All these flashy rides ensure that he always arrives in style when attending red carpet events. He's been buying and selling property, building his portfolio and making some impressive profits along the way too. Jeffrey Owens House Tour This 4,000 square foot home, which was built in 2014, sits in the Silver Lake neighborhood. This stunning California property boasts breathtaking views, top-of-the-line amenities and a prime location and is the perfect union of modern architecture and pristine craftsmanship. The mansion features five bedrooms and four modern bathrooms, and a spacious living room are all a unique feature boasted by this house. And when it comes to cooking, there's plenty of space in the state-of-the-art modern kitchen. The bedrooms are fitted with modern wardrobes, which have plenty of space to store clothes. When you want to have a rest and read a book, or even take a quick afternoon nap, this house has got you covered, as there's plenty of space and comfy couches and seats. It comes as no shock that Jeffrey Owens sold this luxurious mansion for $2.4 million. When you make money, you have to treat yourself right.